Let's have a look at the devices. Let's have a look at myself from the middle picture. Okay, well, see this. That's the board. Only in 66, so to 16, and then they use it this time. So this is pretty much a copy of the shape. Probably smoother than what I could have ever done at that stage. Even though the blessing was that when you shaped by hand with such um, chunky bits of foam, they didn't flex on the racks. And without that flexing, you wouldn't get dents where the stand was. So I just said, put the flex where the stand is, and you get this little hollow. Why was the board was being supported? That happened as boards got down to about two and a quarter inches, but um, when you were got these giant flat chunky things, you could actually hand shape quite a smooth piece of board. So, um, but I don't think we had the awareness of curve as what as what we do now. So, row volume on this single pin, it's it's a standard old row. Is that hand? Let's get the silk out of the way. It's a really sloped, beautiful, chunky, but with a down rail, an old-fashioned rail, a bit like a, almost like a Tom Parrish rail, if I can remember rightly. And I think the board showed me one of those boards and I did it on the hand, it looked very beautiful. And at that time, I was also very influenced by uh, Terry Fitzgerald and Jeff McCoy. I got working for Terry, which was great, and also um, bought a Jeff McCoy board out of a shop, a big old shop, a big surf shop, the only surfboard of another brand that I ever bought. And just in its appearance, I was probably about 15 at the time. It's a beautiful thing. I'll never forget the feeling. Anyway, the single is pretty traditional, normal full big full nose, blunt front of flange shape, lovely little rounded pin. They weren't too ugly at the time, so that was one bonus. Um, when I was coming out, I opened the collection model with all sorts of traditional basic colours from that era, including the logo that you just see in the picture. Um, I'll get some video of someone surfing it, maybe even me, and that's going to be really good to add to this. But really fun little board, heaps of chunk, loose with a really ranky kind of um, tapered merino style pin, and fixed to the board, not a, not a pin box. Just the, just the way we used to do them. All right, well, one day you'll probably see it in the shop, and you can pick it up and have a look at it. That's the end of this little video. Alrighty.